Two homegrowns. There's four on the field tonight for Gonzalo Pineda. And my eyes immediately turned to Noah Cobb on the back line. Twelfth overall within the city group. And, you know, he's really gaining confidence moving into that center back role. As it looks like John Freeman is ready to go. We hope you are all as well. As John Freeman gets us underway from ATL, we invite you to turn off the world and turn on the game. We're playing for three points in the Eastern Conference. NYCFC with an early win as Keaton Parks will spread the field and find Gabby Pereira, who's been a NYCFC killer as of late. Two goals and three appearances. And he goes for goal early on, and that did not take long. Right on cue, Gabby Pereira just absolutely loves scoring against Atlanta United. And it is an early 1-0 lead to NYCFC, who, yes, are still looking for their first road win of 2023. Dream start for the visitors, an absolute nightmare for Atlanta United. As the ball comes into space, watch the recovery run by Caleb Wiley coming back. Andrew Gurman thinks he's got a little bit of help as he slows down. He's trying to push Gabby Pereira to the end line, but notice the overcommittal right there. Beautiful vision from Gabby Pereira. Goodman overcommits. Brooks Lenning going for goal, and Luis Peraza had to be sharp. And the New Mexico native makes his first save of the evening. And though, because he recognizes Peraza setting up, trying to cheat a little bit on the backside. And with all the runners, how can you blame him? But great positioning. What a run of games Luis Peraza has had for himself. I mean. Nice little dummy, Fortune. Whipped across, and it's in! It took a deflection on the way, and it's Tyler Wolf. The 20-year-old continues to impress, and Atlanta United respond, it's 1-1. And then just perseveres through. He could have gotten the ball the first time, but watch him just drift on this back shoulder. Pops out kindly. Good argument to point to the spot, unnecessary. They're coming into the game. Just said, where are the goals going to come from? Gonzalo Pineda recognizing the fact that 59% of the goals that they've been able to score this season, 20 overall unavailable. And at this point in time, he does not care. Incredible response. Four goals in seven games for Tyler Wolf. Clever first touch from Santa Rodriguez, and he gets wrapped up by Noah Cobb, and he's immediately going to go into the book of John Freeman. Design set piece here from Atlanta. Sadich towards the back post. And held onto by Barraza. We did have a brief injury scare for Stephen Turnbull. He did come back out onto the scene as John Freeman gets us restarted. Glad to have you with us here on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV on a Wednesday night. Atlanta United defensively did really well for themselves they got to get Sadich into the game if they're going to continue and find a way to diversify going forward they got to get centrally Kufre good ball in for Ledesma and what a save from Brad Guzan we just asked you to go a little bit quicker right so the space is there ping this ball down in and then all of a sudden drop it and go faster in transition beautiful run by Richie Ledesma to be fair I mean this is a magical move that he makes right on that near post to split Parata and Noah Cobb. I mean, he just, he stole. Atlanta United certainly made himself a nice little home central. And he's another one that, it's like Caleb Wiley, you feel like. Given away by Fortune. It's Gabby Pereira again, and it's Gabby Pereira. Who for some reason just loves scoring against the five stripes. It is 2-1 to the visitors. Goalkeeper could have got a touch to it. I mean, this comes right at him as it springs back off here. Great run on the back shoulder. And again, if your back is in, you got to get something on this. One on one, I get it, but you've got all your bases covered. Beautiful vision by Richie Ledesma. It's just right underneath him. I mean, this is right at the goalkeeper. Gabby Pereira does not put any sort of move on this ball. Gets caught in between his laces and his instep. Most importantly, gets caught in between the 8x8 eight eight and the lead. Back to the visitors. Which hope Scholl and Miguel Berry, at least at this point in time, a lot more speed here, too. Joel displaying some of that speed and then some. But Joel, Joel going for goal and that had plenty of sting on it. Just on the wrong side of the post. And some five stripe fans are still figuring that out. From the original set piece, here's Joel again. Feeling himself. 
Sadich lets it fly. Shouts of a deflection. John Freeman said it went clean through and a goal kick. What you have to be careful of here is there's a lot of emphasis on just Tyler Wolfs in one-on-one -on, -one on this left-hand side because Gutman staying home. That's going to be a yellow card for Andrew Gutman as well. Firmino hunting down the ball. Thought he might be able to get a piece of it off of Tavon Gray. Andrew Gutman gets the whole thing. Still going forward. Gutman puts it on frame, but that's easy enough for Barraza and some frustrated body language. Troll thought about service and now thinks better of it. Finds Lennon. The header is down and it's in! It's storybook stuff! It's Firmino in his debut! And we're all level! It made the move the second prior. Watch him just sit right on top of the box and then the run in behind. Half a check draws Keaton Parks. Beautiful movement in behind. Over and over again. Cone sequences in training. As you make this move, this is a very difficult ball to hit. He's moving over the right shoulder. He's got to decrease the speed, then bring it back across his body. Sets this thing on a silver platter for Firmino. No questions whatsoever as to whether or not he belongs at this level. Emphatically. Both sides will come away with a point. NYCFC will have to continue to wait in their long two-month search for a win.